The following is a presentation of DTC Sports. And tonight, where it starts, the DeKalb County. and welcome to Owl Stadium on the campus of Smith County High School in Carthage, Tennessee tonight for high school football and DTC sports. Tom Duggan alongside the coach Chris Vance and it's a homecoming, not the homecoming for Smith County coach, but a homecoming for former Smith County head coach Jimmy Maynard, a fixture here for 14 seasons at Smith County High School. All-time winning as coach at Smith County High School. Tonight, though, he comes back to Owl Stadium as a visitor with his new team, the Cookville Cavaliers. And you know there's got to be some emotions out on that field tonight, Coach. There really is, Tom. And we talked about it Tuesday. You know, we talked about how it was probably a bigger deal and a stage for the uh, Smith County players than it is for the Cookville players. But it's also a big stage for Coach Maynard. And I actually was able to speak with both Coach Dickerson and Coach Maynard. Coach Maynard said, you know, it is, it is different, and it's a little bit different difficult players that you've coached coaches that you've coached with for 14 years it's a lot different feeling being on the opposite sideline and you know I think coach Dickerson kind of alluded to some of the same things when I spoke with him talking about it you know there's going to be a lot of similarities on both sides uh, depending on who's got the ball or who's on defense some of these teams are going to look like mirror images at times tonight no doubt about it but once the uh, whistle starts coach it's football and that's all these kids are going to be worried about I'm Alyssa Fate, a 2006 graduate of Riverdale High School in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And I'm Jonathan Nichols, a 2008 graduate of Cannon County High School. We are proud to be a part of Huff and Puff Trucking. Where hard work and dedication make us a team. We want you to join our Huff and Puff team because we, we hire, hire good, good people. people. Spotted at the five-yard line, I formation behind Edgington. We'll give to Germanis. Tries the right hand side, cuts it back up and in, and it's a touchdown as Germanis will plow in from five yards out. And just a real good job in the passing game of Cookville enabled that drive to go for the touchdown. Five-yard touchdown run will eradicate the scoreless tie we have with 4.06 left to play in the opening quarter and caps off an impressive Cookville drive that began. Coach at the out 38-yard line. 12 plays to go those 38 yards and just a heavy dose of the run game. A couple of nice passes, however, there from Edgington to maybe to keep drives alive. In fact, Cookville goes for it on fourth down twice in that drive to keep it alive. As we'll see the extra point attempt, down the kick on its way. It is up, and it is good by number seven, Spencer Wright. New score on the board with 4.06 left to play. Don't have time. Cookville strikes first as they'll take a 7-0 lead over the Smith County Owls from Owl Stadium in Carthage. This is the DTC Sports High School Football Game of the Week. Seven nothing the score at the intermission. Cookville with the lead over Smith County at Owl Stadium in Carthage. The difference of the ball game right now, at least scoreboard wise, five yard touchdown run by Cameron Germanis and the extra point uh, which occurred late in the second quarter. Coach, that's it. Seven nothing. A lot of defense. We've seen the ball on the ground. Your trusted friend for all of your grocery needs in Smith County is South Carthage Safeway, your home-owned and home-operated supermarket. From their delicious USDA steaks in their meat department to the freshest produce around, South Carthage Safeway is proud to serve you and your family. Todd and Angela Skurlock and everyone at South Carthage Safeway are always there with a friendly smile and a helping hand. Great service, prices, and selection. That's South Carthage Safeway. Intercepted at the 35-yard line. Well, they looked like a clip. They called it. Two yeah. called it. Three called it. Anthony Bruce saw and uh, 
Well, there goes penalties. All oh, look at this. One, two, three, four, five penalties on the five markers on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that many penalty <laughs> markers in one play. You have two different. Over on the left side of our screen, you're going to have the the block in the back by Cookville on the return. There it is. I'm not sure what you have on our near side of the screen. I, I actually think there may be three altogether. We saw the two back here. One came over here, and then another came right at the end. There, there might actually be three different penalties. Of course, once he got here in 99, things began to turn around, and that's something – Cookville's hoping will happen there. They had a great run with Jerry Jocelyn as head coach for many years. Now the head coach at Pope John Paul II. And Coach Maynard has brought his new team into his old stomping grounds tonight and has come away with a victory. Cookville pulls away in the second half, and it's the Cavaliers 28, Smith County Owls 6. Stay tuned for the DTC Wireless postgame show coming your way next on the DTC Sports High School Football Game of the Week. Cookville breaks open a close game tonight. 21 points in the second half as they pull away from Smith County. 28-6 in the homecoming for Jimmy Maynard tonight with the loss. Smith County drops to 0-4 on the season. Cookville improves to 3-1.